Hi everybody, this is Trevor with Market Delta, and I wanted to just do a quick video on how to add edge zone levels, commonly referred to as easy levels, to a footprint chart. Now for those of you who don't know, easy levels offer real-time support and resistance that are created and based on uh, volume and order flow. So they create unique support resistance levels that automatically draw on the chart once they're configured. So your first objective is to have a footprint open, but once you do, right click on the footprint and choose Modify FP, then under the highlighted area, click it, and we want to add a buy imbalance, and we want to add sell imbalance. And you want to set the color. I'm going to set mine just to um, blue and red, my buy levels my support would be blue and my resistance would be red and the main thing is you want to have it checked right here where under the extend setting if I click apply you can see it does apply them in the background and you could just uh, close out from there um, however you may want to adjust further settings and the two that you'd want to uh, change would be uh, the threshold and the min diff which is located under more so I'm just gonna click more and you can see it allows me to configure the threshold as well as this minimum differential so let's set this to 987 and I'll click I'll leave my min diff is 25 and then I will set this to 987 so the higher the number on either of these the less support resistance levels you're gonna see if I hit apply, you can see it removes some of them. I just I now have fewer support resistance levels, which is fine. Uh, just this is a way to qualify the levels that you see on the chart. And typically, you don't want to see too many. Uh, you want to see ones that would uh, deem more important. Um, so, just a quick word about what these are. Um, threshold is a percentage. It's um, the percentage difference uh, in an imbalance and the min diff is a volume number it's the raw its volume not a percentage so rule of thumb um, you can you could use the same threshold across markets or time frames um, you may change it or you may vary it but you could use the same one the min diff is the one that you will need to set uh, according to the market you're watching or the time frame so you'll find you may need to you will want to change it based on uh, the amount of volume that trades in the market you're watching so markets with higher volume you'll want a larger min diff typically and markets that have lower volume you'll want a lower min diff so generally when I uh, come in here to configure this the first time I start with the the min diff and then I will set the threshold. You don't have to do it in that order, but that's that's a, a decent approach. And then just click OK and apply, and you can see how many lines you're getting, and then dial it in from there. If you have any questions or need some suggestions, feel free to reach out to us at support at marketdelta.com. Thanks, and make a great day.